Hello everyone, welcome to Embedded ARM Dev. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get VirtualBox installed on your computer and set up with an Ubuntu image so you can create a development platform. VirtualBox is virtualization software that allows you to emulate a complete computer system, including RAM, processor, and hard disk space, without affecting the host system. If you're running Windows and you need another development environment like Linux, then this is a great way to create that environment without affecting your host computer. Also, I think it's a good idea to keep your development environment separate so you don't clutter up your host computer or unintentionally mess up the host system. And if you click on this big blue button, it'll take you to their latest release. And so right now we're going to do Windows first. And so we're going to go ahead and click on this. And this will actually download the installer. You can see down here it's installing. And then also while we're here, you want to come down here and you want to get this extension pack, which we'll need for some of the stuff we're going to do, particularly if you're going to hook up USB devices, uh, you will want to uh, have this. And so we'll go ahead and click on this and we'll use that. So once your VirtualBox download is complete, you can just click open. So now when the uh, installer opens up, just go ahead and click next. Okay, let's expand this. So I just go ahead and go with the defaults for now. Next. Um, you can change this if you don't want. If you don't want start menu or a shortcut on the desktop, um, then you know you go ahead and uncheck these. I do recommend keeping this register file associations uh, checked. Uh, go ahead and hit next. So, just just a warning that if you're connected to the internet, uh, it will take down your net connection. So if you're doing anything that you know might, might be sensitive, like you're downloading something right now. Uh, you might want to wait until that's complete before you go ahead and continue. So I'm going to go ahead and continue right now. Okay, and you click install. Okay, and we're finished. So you can go ahead and uh, do the start Oracle VM VirtualBox after installation. That's fine. Um, if you, uh, if not, you can find it in your uh, Windows Start button down here by just typing VirtualBox. So we'll go ahead and do that. Okay, and so we've got VirtualBox installed, and this is what it looks like when it's opened. And over here on the left is where you'll see your VMs once you've got them created, uh, which we will cover in another video. And that is it for installing it on Windows, not too difficult. All right, one last thing that we don't want to forget to do is to install the extension pack that we downloaded earlier. Now this file, uh, this file extension is specific to VirtualBox. So when you click on it, it'll get opened by VirtualBox. So it doesn't matter if your host is running Windows or Linux or Mac or whatever. Uh, this this will you know will get opened by VirtualBox in process. So you just double click on it. Okay. So for me, I already have it installed, and so that's why it says reinstall. But if you've never installed this before, obviously it'll just say install. Uh, so this tells you what you're installing here, and so you just go ahead and click. I'm going to click reinstall. Okay, so the legal agreement comes up. Go ahead and read it and agree. And then you do need administrator privileges to install, just like you do for VirtualBox. So here it says the extension pack uh, was installed successfully. So go ahead and click OK. And so we're done. So I hope you found this video useful. And if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave those. And thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.